So we're starting to get just a little bit of color here at me and Austin's house. We'll turn the camera around here in a minute and show you. We've decided that today we're going to go get some pumpkins. pumpkins. <laughs> we're going to get some pumpkins to carve. We've never really carved any pumpkins and uh, we just thought it'd be interesting. I've never done that before. I know that other people do, but that's not something I've ever done. But I'm like, I've made all of these pumpkin earrings and necklaces this year. I'm like, I should try my hand at like carving a An real actual pumpkin. pumpkin. So we will go get the pumpkins and see what we can do. I guess we'll take them back to mom and dad's house. Yeah. Carve the pumpkins there. We actually just got groceries and Katie came back with me. So we can go get our pumpkins. Let's go get them. So there's still a decent amount of green back here, but you can see some of the leaves starting to change, especially those like pinky red ones. Those are beautiful. It's like foggy here this morning, slightly rainy, maybe like 60 degrees. It's pretty nice. Seems like a good day to try and carve a pumpkin. It's just something we've never done. Some people do it every year. Got a little bit of yellow on this side over here, this side of the deck. It's really pretty here in the fall. Ah! Olive, what are you doing? You silly. Olive loves to come back here and perch in this corner. Look out and see what she can see. Do you want to carve a pumpkin, Olive? Huh? You want to carve a pumpkin? <laughs> we got Olive with us in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> I took her seat. She usually sits in the front, but I'm sitting in the front. And we are headed out to the fruit stand to get our pumpkins to carve and let's go and we're going to show you some of the pretty fall leaves along the way let's roll
excited about getting a pumpkin? Yeah, they're all so pretty. This looks like a pretty good one to carve. That's a carving pumpkin. Those are cute. What about this one? Are you gonna carve a little one or you gonna carve a big one? I don't know. one that's this big. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm ready that to take it on. Really, that's the perfect. That's probably the perfect one because it's so enough, flat. Enough. Yeah, long. flat surface area. Corey, that pumpkin's as big as you. It's heavy. Ready to get our pumpkins? Yeah. All right, Alice, we brought you some pumpkins. We brought you some pumpkins, Alice. <laughs> she does not like it. Scared of the pumpkin? Uh, come on. Let's go, Olive. All right, Corey. Time to get our pumpkins in. There's one pumpkin. These things are heavy. They're big. We brought the pumpkins home. Now we're going to carve them. I've never exactly done this, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to figure out. We're going to figure it out. I just wanted to dry them off. Yeah, and dry them off a little bit, maybe. If they were still damp. Something like that on the top. Yeah, just where we're gonna cut. Probably just as close as we can. You can use this black too if you have to. Okay. It shows up pretty good. So now I found some different stuff I think I could use to cut this out with. I was thinking maybe if we just very carefully first could almost like score it with one of the little knives, then you might go back with a chef's knife. Yeah. But it might be easier if you had it like, you know. Oh my gosh, that's so sharp. If you just this, this is actually wood carving knives. I would just kind of, there you go, like that. Go around yeah, just kind of go around. This is use it like a, sinking right through there. Yeah, use it like a pencil. You know, don't drag it along because it's going to be too... This thing's too small to drag. That's a really good shape. Oh, there we go. I see what you're saying. I'm telling you, that, that thing is so sharp. That would be very Just be careful. so careful. I know they're sharp because I was there when this man sharpened them and they're shiny. I can see my face in them. That's how I know they're sharp. Because he took great pains to um, also polish it. He had a big buffer. What we need is like a little knife like this that's got saw teeth on it. Yeah, they make them. But that's okay. And, and work on the other way. Right. Okay. I'm kind of doing the same thing, just a little differently. Definitely getting the prime action. I think 
go get downstairs and get another one of these. This is one of my jewelry tools. It's actually a, a burnisher for burnishing stones that you set. But I'm using it to pry with because it's just a really good shape for that. And then I'm going to give it to Corey. I've got some more, but none of them are this long. This one is yeah, this is long. Good. Okay, I got the top off. Good job. So, I just need you to help me get my top off. Okay, I can see what I did. I've cut at an angle, but now that the top is open, we can clean it up. Pumpy. Okay. You want this prime thing? I'll stick it. Good job, Katie. So, we did manage to, they smell very strongly. That's so, good. what you can do now is just take that same little knife you had or that other one and just you want to put the bowl up go to trimming. Yeah, I guess. Do you want to try to stay? Yeah, you know what? If we had great big spoons, we'd just scoop this out. I'm just trimming the top a little bit where I've finally got it. Something sort of jagged. I don't reckon I can trim the top too much though, because then the lid won't fit on it good no more. I'm gonna start maybe with this big one just to try to. This is kind of a awkward thing, but just. Kind of weird, huh? Feels weird. Well, I think this was half the battle getting the top sure. off to where I could now get we'll to just gotta scrape it out and thin out the walls, and we'll be ready to carve. Probably this flat side is going to be the best to be the do easiest. my cross on. Yeah. I'm about done. My thing fits back just perfect. Good, that looks good. Awesome. Okay. All right, I'm about. If you're not pumped about carving pumpkins, then get out of here. Mm -hmm. Mine is just kind of hackly. Corey's ended up so smooth and pretty. No, yours is nice. Oh. Uh -oh. I'm about. That, that works. Okay. I just won't take any more off. When we are done, I have to clean up the floor too because I know I've got little pumpkin bits all over the place. I can just fill them from my shoes. And it's just kind of... What do you think? That looks good. You'll just have to add like two dirt won't be. You could add it on yeah. both sides. Which way will I? I'll do it on both sides. Like, yeah, there you go, like that right there. That's smart. Corey is on it. I think this size is just a hair longer. You could just start carving and see what you think, I guess. I could have been like super exact about it myself if I wanted to be. 
I'll tell you this pumpkin wall is still pretty thick, isn't it? But we can always, you can always go in and, you know, we're gonna have to do it like the first. Ah, you hear that? It just broke through. But after that, you might take a, carefully take a bigger one and we'll get through. I'm not doing so great right over here. <laughs> So that's okay. I think you're doing fine. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> I just like popped it out. Yeah, that'll work. What we'll do when we're done is if there's Sharpie left, we'll take some acetone. Yeah, that'll get it all filled. And that'll get it all. Do your detail work with it. right what do you think that's awesome <laughs> you think it looks good i do i think corey um which we all already knew this corey has a hidden talent of killing flies if there's a fly in the room and you give corey a fly swatter it's gone it's a pretty useless talent but we also has a serious talent of carving pumpkins. It's not terrible. No, it's not terrible at all. Like you said, we might have to take acetone and we, we can get off the... Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think? It's got its hat back on. Oh, I love it. Is it working? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to use these little acetone pads to take the Sharpie off. I don't think it'll hurt the pumpkin. Nah. Might make it a slight bit dry, but that's okay. All the stuff off. It looks really nice. Thank you. You do something really good too. It's gonna be so cute. I think the hardest part will be this next part because it's the negative versus positive material. I have to leave the teeth. Yeah, that's true. and you won't be able to see them.
<laughs> this is what he looks like. It's done! It is. Now I can put his hat uh, back on. Hat back on, whichever way it went. I guess it went like that. Lord, I have I have stuff mm. everywhere. Mm. <laughs> it looks great. Pumpkin everywhere. <laughs> These look awesome. This was really fun. This was fun. And I have to say, for our first pumpkin carving, I don't think we did terrible. No, I think we did pretty good. I think it was successful. So if you want to carve a pumpkin, you should, and maybe this will help you if you've never carved one before, or maybe you can laugh at us if you have, and this is very <laughs> mediocre to you. I Give me really, some inspiration, maybe. I don't really know, but we're going to take these things and go set them somewhere nice outside, and yeah. that's pretty much it. So <laughs> thanks for coming with us. Happy uh, fall. God bless you. God keep you. I'll catch you at the next one.